everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we actually go from Inglewood, we go to Kulbunda Dam and check it out which is absolutely a stunning spot if you ever want to go before heading to Yulebon and we checked out the silos there which were really impressive. We then drove on to Gundawindi and had a drive around the town before ending up at the Botanical Gardens for lunch and then we checked out a few free camps on the way um, to find a nice safe place to stay for the night and we ended up at Tarwood. So this was the view and this was the sound and I wish there was some other vision because um, yeah um, yes it was bats and boy were they noisy but the worst thing was the smell the smell we woke up to was gut churning it was awful so we packed up very quickly and then we left Very early. Like, you know, as usual, the animals had me up. 4 30 in the morning, so we gradually packed up and filled up with water, which was an experience and a half, having never done that before, but I know how to do it now. Quite an easy process. Um, This is Lake Kumundra, I think it's called, and it's water catchment, so um, I'm really not sure where the animals can come out, but just we passed it on the way to Inglewood, I wanted to go back and actually have a look, it's very early in the morning, but it's beautiful, there is um, there is a couple of camping areas. There's a camping area right on the lake, which is there. And um, there's an actual caravan park as well. Guys, back to West Brisbane. Warwick. Very nice. If I wasn't trying to uh, free camp, I would have probably stayed. Very peaceful. meters turn right onto pull under access So I checked out this camping site here on the dam and it is only $15 a night. So turn right onto call under access. Yeah, definitely one to mark in your diaries.
toilet, showers, facilities, you know, barbecues for 15 bucks. Definitely. And just as we cross over the railway line here, on the left hand side, see it, is the caravan park. So it's further away down, but um, they've got little cabins there. So we're off to see the silos now. See you then. Can you see that? Wow, we even with the haze. That is impressive. Wow, I'm glad I stopped here. This is really impressive. Alright, I'm going to pop out. So, I'm going to take some video first. And then I'm going to take some actual photos. But there's a nice little viewing area here. Seats. You can sit here and look. Boards. So sorry for the truck and wind noise, but right here there's there's actually yeah, and it's all all things that they've collected and the railway and the trucks and the and the mills and the everything else. That's pretty cool. And there's the old Weybridge just there as well. So I'm just going to go back over and I'm sure it's a donation box. So I'm going to put in a donation. So impressed with this one, and this is my first silo. Woohoo! Just down the road from the silos, there's a nice little park which um, just got the power out so she needs to do a wee next to the river it's very nice this here Turn right onto Calendoon Street. Oh, sure, sure. 
Turn left onto Calendoon Street. Head west on McLean Street. Head south on McLean Street towards McIntyre Street. Turn left onto McIntyre Street, then turn left onto McIntyre Street. St. George to Womba and Rockhampton. Well, that's really bizarre. All three in completely different directions. We were looking for a quiet place to stop. Um, we found a park, but then there was people everywhere. And then I looked up, and there was the botanical gardens. So we, so we've. Oh, there's mozzies everywhere, so I have to get me mozzie things. So the girls are just out on their leads, and yeah, found a nice shady spot. We're just going to stay here for an hour or so. I'm chill in the sunshine. It was uh, interesting before because we went for a walk, me and Carl, we just checked out to see what sort of place this was. And when we walked back, Carl spotted something over there. And she stopped in her track. And not only did she stop, she started backing up. Now, the only other time that I've seen a dog do that was when we had a ghost in the house. So, and even now, she's over there and she's not sure about that area over there. See how, you know, she's, she's not happy. There's something over in that area and she's over in that playground and she doesn't like it. And now she's getting back in the van. She doesn't like it. Mmm. Wow. Always listen to animals, hey? There's Nala enjoying this time out the van. Watching the birds. Feeling the breeze. She's loving life. And Kara's found a really big stick. Hey, love your sticks, don't you? Yeah. She's happy now. This is Bun Bun around the block. Um, yeah, there's no one here. Like, if you were, if you were, you know, even a couple, you would be okay like in here. Um, there's plenty of room and under the trees here in the middle. Um, it's just not nothing here. Nothing here. So for me, camping on my own. Uh, maybe not. It's south on Main Street towards George Street. So I'm going to go on meters, turn right onto Beach Street. A little bit further to Tollwood and see what's Turn right to stay on Main Street. So, as you can see, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, meters. It's not too bad if, if you were actually in a group or even in a couple, you know. 
55 hiking here. Um, maybe not for solos. meters continue straight onto Main Street. This looks a little bit madder. In 400 meters, turn left onto Railway Street. Turn left onto Railway Street, then turn right. Right. Okay. So, I can gather people saying it's behind the building. So. Okay, so we have stopped at Tollwood Recreational Centre or Recreational something. It is. It is a donation camp. Um, I actually went into the corner store, which was a whole different story. Um, got some diesel there, but I will pay a donation on the way back out. Looks like there's a building with shade there. It does ask that people don't cook on the on the bar on the barbecue on the uh, veranda there. There is shade around. There's a dump point just over there, which is good. Um, it says over here, there's a water tap. So I've just quickly done a little bit of hand washing, <laughs> just a few bits and pieces. It says up here about the donation box. Um, you wish to make a contribution to keep the upkeep of these villages, a donation box is located at Tollwood store in the main street, which is where I just got my diesel. Um, you can stay up to 72 hours here. I'll take you into the ladies. There is no one here. There's only me and the, the girls here. Um, there is a shower in here um, and two toilets. Yeah, we're, it's a bit rough, you know, but hey, for a donation, we're not paying for the rips, you know, so for a donation, we can get a hot, use a toilet, hot shower, water facilities, dump point, 
There is playground facilities over the other side. They do ask you when you come in here to reverse up to the fence. So that's what we've done. I've reversed up to the fence to give the girls as much shade as possible. I've chosen this spot over here. My washing on the line, excuse my undies. Um, yeah, so yeah, this one gets a few ticks. So it would be nice if there was other people here, but uh, now I'm on my own. Cara does have her muzzle on because you never know. You know, there could be baits here, you just don't know. So, yeah. So there you go. Tarwood Rec Centre. Oh, and they, oh, and also, forgot this one. They reckon there's power here. So, yeah, they reckon that all of those things along there are power. You've got to park over here, but you just run your cables across. But I'm not game. So, anyway, there's power there if you need it. Okay, that's Tarwood Rec Centre. I know that there is nothing stopping me No physical presence that I can't see Oh, there's nothing in my way